Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Summer of Pain, week number six. We're going up against the Hydra Adaptoid. All right, uh, and you're gonna see my items real quick here. Uh, I'm so upset because just before I was doing this, I noticed that I had like three of my level one revives expiring. And I was like, oh man, if I had just done this like an hour earlier, we would have been perfectly fine. We could have just used those revives and we would have been good. All right, but you see what my uh, stash is looking like. Uh, so not worried about the revives, even though, you know, I could have used those three at least and not had to worry about it. Uh, so you saw also the boosts that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and boost up so that uh, I'm not spending, you know, forever and a day uh, in the fight. Now, for this fight, you have some objectives. One objective is you have to defeat this Adaptoid with an extra large and a villain. They have to be both extra large and villain. They have to have both those tags. Another one is they need to be metal. Then there's another one where they have to be shield. Okay, so those are the tags. They have to be villain and extra large. That's one objective. Shield tag. That's another objective. And they also have to be metal. Okay, now you're dealing here armor break immunity. Limber is annoying. You're locked to a special two. Okay, and you know, you got the power build up and all that good stuff. True focus is basically no quake, no ghost, but also some others as well, but primarily there. So I heard that uh, Sentinel was pretty decent, okay? Now, the reason that I went in here with Sentinel is I have him at rank five. The other option that is villain and extra large and metal is Mojo. He is probably one of the top options for this. Unfortunately, I only have him at rank three. And there's no way I was going to take him up for this challenge. Uh, but fortunately, I did have a Sentinel that was ranked up. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, my basic strategy at first, and I hadn't seen anyone do this fight yet um, with Sentinel. So I wanted to try to build up the analysis charges. And then I was going to just try to bait out heavies. And, you know, that unstoppable is really annoying. Okay, because you got to wait it out. And uh, if he's getting power buildup, and he's get prowess as well. So if you're trapped in that corner, it can hurt. Now, the other issue that I'm having is I am running suicides. So I'm doing a lot more damage. However, I'm also taking recoil damage every time I fire off a special two. Now, I could have fought a lot better with Sentinel, as, as you'll see. But this was... You know, me just going in here and trying stuff out to see what worked, okay? And at this point, you know, I'm spamming these special twos, and it's doing some good damage. And I'm looking up at the health, and I'm looking at my health, and I'm like, man, I'm not going to be able to keep firing that special uh, two off, all right? So I'm just like, you know what? Let's just see how far I can get him down, all right? And if we get him down, you know, to a real good amount, then yeah, we might uh, just revive and, and finish it. All right. So I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, we got him uh, less than half his health. So that's pretty good. Okay. And so you can see here, I'm just trying to wait out that uh, unstoppable. Okay. Now the Adaptoid, by the way, does not have a special three. So you don't have to worry about pushing him to a special three uh, if you missed that already. Um, so, uh, but look at the prowess charges he has. So, uh, one of the nodes, uh, told you that when he gets a certain amount of prowess or more, uh, his special attacks are unblockable, but 
they're easy to evade. It's that unstoppable at the end of their special that is annoying. All right, so just look at this, all right? So we're doing pretty good here. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm at 2%. And I'm like, all right, he's at 5%. All right, we evaded that one. And we evaded that one. So we're good, all right? I just need to get a, a intercept or something like that in there. And then he catches me. And I'm like, wow. So we got him down to 5%. And I could have gotten the solo. I could have. And I said, but you know what? I ain't got time for that. So I went ahead and revived. Yes. Could have got the solo. Not overly worried about getting the solo. Just want to get this guy down and done. Okay. So didn't even bother to heal up. And this is what I was talking about. I wish I had done this an hour earlier because then I could have used one of the revives that were expiring. I just ended up selling them. Like three of them. But it's all good. Uh, Marvel Insider also uh, sent us some uh, revives because we had redeemed it for points uh, with our points there. So we've got revives. All right. So that was the um, XL villain and metal, as you can see there, done. So now we only have one more to do, and that is defeat him with a shield operative, okay? So I'm like, okay, who all is shield, you know? And so I'm going down here, and I remember that magic is shield. So I said, let me just jump in here and see how magic works, okay? Now, I have never been a fan of magic. She is still rank four after all this time. So I'm just like, all right, I don't know how I need to really do this, you know, having just done the fight with, you know, Sentinel, I'm thinking if I can get him power lock and stay power lock, we're good. So that first one, you know, it drained him and it locked him, but, you know, he still was able to get that off. And so now we have to wait out the uh, unstoppable. All right. And the lock is gone. So he's back at a special. All right. So I'm just like, all right. And look at the damage I'm taking to my block. All right. And I'm taking recoil damage. Now, I remember um, being told that you didn't have to worry about it with her uh, recoil um, or a rewind, her limbo. Uh, you didn't have to worry about the recoil damage because you'd heal it right back up. OK, um, but she's not the sturdiest of champions anyway. All right. And with no way to deal with that unstoppable, it was just annoying. All right. Now, look at look at his health. OK, look at his health and look at her health. And I'm just like, OK, what am I supposed to do here? OK, this is just annoying. Now, the style that I see her used um, you know, you've seen used with her the most is to get them in the corner and then do what's called backdraft intercept. So you hit, you know, a few times, you dash back, and if they follow you, you're good, okay? Uh, you don't want to do it when they have a bar of power, though, because they'll fire that off and intercept you with it. So at this point, I already know that this is not going to work, okay? Boom, she went down. She didn't have enough health to survive the initial damage to survive long enough for Limbo to heal it back. So I'm just like, okay, that was a interesting uh, run. I'm looking at his health and I'm like, you know, I could do it again. Maybe uh, we'll get him down the next time, but I'm like, we'll, we'll put her aside for right now. All right. Um, she's only ranked four. If she were rank five, and remember, I'm boosted up still. Uh, if she were rank five, then maybe, maybe um, she would have done a little bit more damage. And I would need to uh, backdraft intercept a lot more. All right. So here I'm like, hmm, I also heard that Nick Fury was good for this. 
So I said, all right, let's go on with Nick Fury. I like Nick Fury. So let's try Nick Fury out. Okay. Now, in my mind, I am envisioning Nick Fury just bleeding him to death. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, this should be pretty good. You know, and he's got a second health. And I'm hitting him and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't see no bleeds. It it says he's immune. I'm like, he is immune. I said, okay, I'm done. That was it. That was the only try. I, I looked at it and I said, he's immune to bleed. So that means this fight's going to take a while. No, thank you. Now, maybe I missed something. Leave a comment if I missed something and uh, maybe the immunity was temporary. I, I don't know. I didn't see any fights with Nick Fury to see how they did it. I only heard that someone said Nick Fury was pretty good for it. All right. So I'm looking over here and I don't really have that many good options ranked up that are shield. So uh, I'm like, all right, well, I like Dr. Voodoo. Dr. Voodoo uh, is my boy. He's been my boy for a while. Uh, don't use him a whole lot, but I like him. So I'm like, all right, let's see how Dr. Voodoo does. Okay. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. My only plan was to try to get to a special two, fire it off on an even combo, and power burn him and keep him power burnt. Okay. Um, I also had a vision of me being able to poison him, but of course, he's a robot. Okay. In case you were wondering, he's a robot, so he's immune to bleed and poison. Uh, I'm sure somebody's going to say that in the comments, like, yeah. Um, he's a robot, uh, but I forgot that. Okay. That's why I ended up going in there. Um, you know, cause he doesn't look like a robot. Uh, but anyway, so you can see I have him power burn, baiting out heavy attacks, but look at my health. So I messed up in the beginning. All right. So at this point, I'm pretty sure I can't do it. All right. You know, I lost too much health, but I'm thinking, let me see just what Dr. Voodoo can do. So I fired off a special one and look at that. Even though he is immune to poison, he still got rid of all those buffs. Now, was it worth it to get rid of those buffs? Maybe. Um, I can see uh, someone taking this fight uh, with Dr. Voodoo with no suicides on. I could see that. OK, um, no recall damage, because like right here, I can't fire off another special. So you see, I'm trying to I'm doing a little intercepting, uh, trying to do a little backdraft intercepting like I should have done with magic. OK, and look, he doesn't follow me all the time. All right. Just look at that. I'm trying I'm trying my best to do something here. Boom. He was just waiting for me. You know, I, I needed to intercept. He wouldn't attack. He waited for me to attack. And then he intercepted me. It happens. You, I can see it. But look at how much damage I did. So this encouraged me. I said, all right, definitely can do this with Dr. Voodoo. Let's try again. And if we can do as good as we did, um, or as well as we did uh, the first time, then maybe I'll just revive and get him down. Okay. Um, but I wanted to give it a, a good try. Uh, now that I was a little bit more familiar with what I needed to do with Dr. Voodoo in this fight. All right. So here, you know, he still has his regen. All right. So I fired off that special two. And now I'm power burning him. Okay. He fired off his. So now I got to wait the uh, unstoppable out. It's annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. And there we go. Baited out that heavy. And we're going in. I wanted to do this special one, got rid of all of the um, buffs he had, but I got a lot of damage. You know, I took that recoil damage. So don't know if that was a good idea for me to fire off that special one. Um, getting rid of his buffs, his prowess buffs especially, um, that was uh, useful. Okay, that was uh, very, very useful uh, in that he's not going to be hitting as hard and his specials wouldn't be unblockable. 
All right, and see, I took all of that into my block. So I'm once again with low health. Again, I lost a lot of health, and he's just battering my block. But he doesn't have all that prowess that he had before, or else I would have even less health. All right, so I fired off another special two. Didn't get the big boy crit that I really wanted. Um, but here we go. We're, we're power burning him again. Okay, and I'm low. I'm low in health again, and I'm just like, oh, boy. Can I, you know, get him down any further? You know, I've got 10% health. We're parrying. We've got some parries left. Okay. And I'm like, all right. But you see how fast he recovered from that one? That's limber. Okay. So here we go. We fired that off. We got lucky. And he fired off his uh, heavy attack. All right. And we're just going in. Boom. And he got me. So again, I was trying to do like a little backdraft intercept, he wasn't playing along. In order to do a backdraft intercept, they have to play along. They have to attack you. They have to follow you. And I wasn't that good at backdraft intercepting anyway, you know? So I'm sitting here thinking, like, what, what am I going to do? Okay. And I'm like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Um, that one, I mean, it was a good attempt, but that wasn't, uh, the attempt I was hoping, uh, to have with Dr. Voodoo, especially. So um, I'm filtering out here because I'm looking around and I'm like, who else do I have? And you, you can see here, I got nobody shield, very limited. And I don't have that many ranked up. So I'm like, well, so far, Dr. Voodoo seemed to have done the best in this. So at this point, I'm like, all right, you know, if I had somebody else ranked up, maybe I would have done it. Um, you know, I didn't, didn't, well, Mojo, but we already got that, uh, those um, objectives. So here, you know, I'm like, I'm thinking, Maybe I should boost up uh, Mystic, boost up or something like that. Uh, but I went ahead and put on a little 15% health boost because I'm thinking, well, I'm losing health, but if I have more health to lose, it, it doesn't really give you as much as I would like. Um, but it is a little bit of a cushion, you know, not much, but a little bit of a cushion. All right. So here we go again. And, you know, we're a little bit more familiar. And I noticed that, you know, I did have a number of parries to play with. So at this point, I'm like, all right, let's just go in, you know, parry early on. All right. Got to wait out the unstoppable. Um, didn't mean to parry there. We are having uh, issues with parry and evade. There's a, a major uh, bug that affects them. And what? I have had to do is try to parry a little early when I want to parry. But it also means that very often uh, when I'm trying to evade, it ends up being a parry instead. Okay. So here we go. You saw me just using parries like they were going out of style. All right. And um, I'm trying something a little bit different here. You know, parrying early, getting the uh, power burn and, uh, this time, I'm thinking maybe don't fire off the uh, special one and just see if we can't keep him uh, power burn, you know, because that special two does a lot of damage, right? Baited out that special, uh, the heavy attack, all right? Now, he's got one prowess up right now, okay? Doing a little bit more damage, and I'm taking a lot of block uh, damage. See, I did a little intercept there, okay? But... You know, we're still, it's looking about the same as what I had to deal with before. You know, I had about the same amount of health and I had gotten him down about the same amount. Now we got lucky there and he fired a heavy right off instead of hitting into our block. So every time he does that like this, that's a lot because we get an opening without taking any blocked uh, hits. Now, if I was better at intercepting, then this would have gone much, much better. Okay, but he's down to less than half his health already. 
Okay, and you see I'm just doing the uh, um, special two spam. All right, and there we go. Uh, power burn, we baited out a heavy attack. And see, I'm parrying because I realized that I had a little bit more uh, parries than I was thinking. All right, there we go, another intercept. Every intercept saves me health, okay? So look at his health right now, okay? So this is probably the best that we've done, okay? Now, something else that I had happened to me a couple of times here, if you wonder why I didn't fire off the uh, special attack, it was because I hit the special button and it didn't do anything. And there you see he did the exact same thing that he did before when I tried to intercept. He didn't follow me, he waited, and then he intercepted me. So I'm just like, all right, we got this. One revive, not a big deal. You know, I've got a bunch of these in the overflow. So let's go ahead and uh, use them, okay? Um, heal them up, not to full, um, shouldn't need to be full uh, based on what we've been doing already. Uh, so this should be good, okay? Um, so the strategy is pretty much the same. You know, build up to that special two and then just keep hitting him with a special two spam, okay? And then this. That happened because the evade didn't work. And I got all flustered, attacked him while he was unstoppable, and then you see what happened. That really ticked me off. I was so upset. I was like, all right, you know what? I was like, take my items. Just, just take my items then. That's what you want. Uh, that didn't happen in the other uh, fights. But as soon as I revived and used some health potions, suddenly I forget how to evade. Nothing's working. So you can see here, I'm fighting angry now, okay? And I'm just like, no, we, we you're going down now. Now you tick me off, all right? And so you see here, I'm just all in his face, all right? He did that, sure. Now I gotta uh, back off, but you see I'm, I'm holding my block a lot more, okay? I'm looking at that um, unstoppable. As Soon as it was finished, I'm on him, boom. Another special two and I'm holding block, just waiting for him, boom. And we're just on him, on him, all right? He got that one off, sometimes he'll do that even if you're holding block, all right? Now we're waiting out the uh, unstoppable taking some hits he's got a lot of prowess built up but that's okay um all right he's down to five percent now you see we're just staring at each other you know need a tumbleweed in there all right he's hitting me got the uh heavy baited and boom he's down so took some more revives now you see why i was so upset the three revives that we had at the beginning that would have um expired had I started this earlier, I could have been using those three revives instead of other three revives. And you can see there, we got the shield one done. All right, so that is going to do it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this journey. You can see everything that I had to do. Not the best fighter, but I got it done. It's worth using revives. The rewards are insane. Okay, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this journey. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And yes, I know he's a robot. Take care and you all have a blessed day.